Hey, what's up? It's Chep Chan Mutai. Welcome to my YouTube channel on freelance and business. If you are here for the first time, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I truly appreciate your support. In the year 2019, there was a very popular party goers anthem in Kenya by Ugandan artist Big Thrills called Party After Party. Party After Party. Yeah. Party After Party. The chorus was very easy to master. Irrespective of how high someone was, they could still chant to the song. Like party after party is freelancing, bidding after bidding after bidding for any project that comes along. In this video, I'll be focusing on the myths surrounding bidding on freelance jobs online. Stay tuned to find out. Hi, 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 hi. This is Jibdian Mutai. Welcome to my YouTube channel on freelance and business. Most freelancers who've been in the business for five years or more will tell you that bidding as a way of acquiring new clients is no longer exciting to them unless the client invites them to bid on their project. I'm talking about long-term freelancers with top rating status and raving five star reviews from the past clients. Does this mean that they have enough jobs at their hand for them to handle new work? And if they do, why are they interested in getting new clients anyway? There's never enough jobs for any freelancer with a progressive mindset. As you build your portfolio as a freelancer, you tend to look for premium projects that challenges your creativity and innovation. Before I delve into this, I'd like to unearth the myths surrounding top rating status and five star reviews that one gets after completing a given assignment. Myth number one, when one is top rated, they are guaranteed to get new work. This is not true. The status only gives you a good standing on the freelancing platform and the chances of you being recommended by the freelancing site is high. Also, you don't have to explain yourself very much when negotiating for a given contract. Myth number two, clients will hire you without interviewing you. It depends on which freelancing site that you work on. Let me talk about Upwork. Clients come to the platform with various requirements and budgets. Before deciding to hire, they have to first discuss and agree with the freelancer on what they need. Sometimes a top rated freelancer has everything that the client wants, but they'll not be hired. Why? Because their rates are high. So does this mean that you have to continue bidding on new projects until you succeed? Yes, but have a different approach. First, narrow down your skills using the 80-20 principle. More experience means more knowledge on what the market demands. Focus on sending bids on projects that requires the skills that you have perfected and pays well. For example, in video production, I have learned over time that I'm good at screencast video production. This is an area I focus my energy on. Also, I have invested a lot of income in purchasing softwares that makes it easy to deliver the best quality of screencast videos. Plus, I have built a team of freelancers with the same skills to help me out whenever I have huge contracts. Secondly, mold your patience. It's easy to give up on freelancing, considering that sometimes one can go for a month or so without work. If you know your worth, you must start cultivating patience. It will take time to convert a high-paying client. In most occasions, they are not in hurry to hire. They take calculated risks before hiring you. There is more to only just bidding as your freelancing experience grows. And that is it from me here. What other ways do you approach bidding to break the monotony of just bidding for the sake of it? Please share your feedback in the comment section below. If you need help to create and produce professional screencast videos, you can request a free quote on www.detectivestudio.com. Until 
next time. Bye bye and take care. You can follow me on Twitter at Cheptionji.